Australia to have immigration intake in two years. In order to address the observed shortcomings in Australia's immigration system, the government has decided to lower the annual intake to 250,000, which will bring it back to levels prior to the pandemic by June 2025. Before we continue, did you know that now you can get your Australian visa without any hassle? Want to know the secret? Visit our website now where hundreds of authorised immigration experts can help you fulfil your dreams. What are you waiting for? Click the link in the description box or pinned comment below. A new 10-year immigration strategy was unveiled by Home Affairs Minister Claire O'Neill, who criticised the previous administration for leaving the immigration system in tatters. The newly introduced measures include the following. Enhanced minimum English language requirements for international students. Increased scrutiny of applicants for sick and visa. Student applicants must show that pursuing further studies would significantly contribute to their academic or career goals. To ease the strain that record migration levels are placing on housing and infrastructure, tighter visa requirements will also apply to low-skilled workers and international students. By implementing these measures, the government hopes to reduce the annual intake by roughly 50 and bring migration numbers under control. However, the changes will improve the pathways for visas for immigrants who possess specialised or essential skills, such as highly skilled tech workers or care workers, providing them with better opportunities for permanent residency. Minister O'Neill claims that these measures will reduce the risk of exploitation for individuals living, working and studying in Australia while attracting the necessary labour force. Your video update ends here. If you have any further questions, feel free to comment below or get in touch with immigration advisors registered on our website. Thanks for watching today's update.